Hi, this is uh, Abdullah Katun. I want to introduce to you my new eyepieces, which I was using for a uh, couple of days. And uh, I want to tell you the advantages and disadvantages of these new eyepieces. Let's have a look from uh, the upper side, as we can see right here. These eyepieces are GSO. GSO as you can see here GSO this is a 50 millimeter eyepiece it has a 60 degrees apparent field of view as we can see 60 millimeter apparent field of view this eyepiece here is uh, 42 millimeter it has a 68 degrees apparent field of view from GSO and this one is also from GSO um, it has it is a 30 millimeter eyepiece and it has a 68 degrees apparent field of view and this one here is also from GSO it's a 20 millimeter 20 millimeter eyepiece and has a 68 degrees apparent field of view and this one here is this little guy here is a 15 millimeter 15 millimeter 15 millimeter uh, eyepiece it has a 68 degrees field of view um these eyepieces i recommend them if you want to go for a low budget eyepiece um, if you want uh, my opinion also for the best one here it's this one the 50 millimeter eyepiece this 50 millimeter eyepiece is absolutely state of the art you can't go wrong with this eyepiece this eyepiece here um, has a clear crisp image from edge to edge and zero distortion at the edge of the eyepiece it has no distortion at all you will get a very clear crisp image for stars um, unbelievable unbelievable um, this eyepiece will give you the most widest field of view for your telescope okay i'm using a, a refractor telescope uh, it has a 600 millimeter uh, um, uh, focal length so 600 millimeter focal length divided by 50 divided by 50 it will give me 12 magnification um, and 60 degrees divided by 12 magnification it will give me five degrees in the sky now believe me five degrees in the sky is a lot of sky you will see a lot a lot through this telescope it's uh, this telescope this uh, eyepiece i can um, describe it as uh, you are opening a large window to heaven it's a large window to heaven when you look at it and you get five degrees in the sky uh, it is unbelievable um, if you use it on a 12 inch Dobsonian yeah, you will get like about uh, maybe two degrees two degrees in the sky uh, also two degrees in the sky with a 12 inch Dobsonian um, it is something unbelievable it is uh, it is a true uh, window to heaven okay now we will go, come to here for the 42 millimeter eyepiece the 42 millimeter eyepiece here has <clears throat> a little bit distortion it has about 10 percent distortion at the edge of the eyepiece um, 10% distortion is not really that much, but it is still a very good choice. Um, also here, the 30 millimeter eyepiece, the 30 millimeter eyepiece 
has about 10% distortion at the apparent field of view at the edges, um, but it is uh, still not much. Yeah, not, it's not that much of a distortion. Um, here we have this one, the one in a quarter of an inch. And this one, uh, the 20 millimeter eyepiece, has about 20% distortion at the edges of the eyepiece. Now that's a lot of distortion. Uh, but you can still get a clear, crisp image. Unbelievably clear. Unbelievably. 100% clear. And this here, the little guy here, um, the 15 millimeter eyepiece, um, also has 20% distortion at the apparent field of view. Um, this uh, eyepiece is also will give you a clear, crisp image, 100% clear. All of them, all of these five eyepieces will give you clear, crisp image. And this one has 20% distortion, 20% distortion, the, the second one, the, the 30 millimeter, 10%, 10% distortion, and here, 0% distortion. Well, what I recommend strongly for astronomers is to have this eyepiece, the 50 millimeter eyepiece. It is state of the art. You can't go wrong with it. Um, and zero distortion. And if you want to use it for a Dobsonian, it is unbelievable. If you want to use it for a Schmidt Cassegrain, uh, but you must use the focal reducer 0 0.63. Uh, so you will not get any coma or any distortion. Um, also with the refractor telescope, you will get zero distortion with this and you will never go wrong with this. And especially if you are using an ED glass, it is it will give you an unbelievable, um, uh, unbelievable uh, clearance. It's so clear. If you want to go for a low budget then you will get all these five um, eyepieces and uh, these eyepieces uh, i think um, th that if this one and this one or oh, the four these four were 60 degrees instead of 68 degrees apparent field of view I think they will have zero distortion because these eyepieces are plossal. And plossal eyepieces are known with uh, four elements of glass. And four elements of glass, you can't go with a wide field of view. Uh, you, will, you will definitely get distortion. Uh, this is why this 60 millimeter, this 60, this 50 millimeter has a 60 degrees field of view which has uh, extremely zero distortion on it um, and i recommend it strongly for astronomers this one it is uh, something uh, you will never regret it, it uh, obtaining it and uh, I hope uh, this illustration is uh, a good illustration for the GSO eyepieces. This is a look from above, and and uh, I'll say uh, goodbye.